Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we'll study the working of peak detector using op-amp. So this is the circuit. We have an op-amp where the input signal V in. So it can be of any signal. So it is connected to the non-inverting terminal. So plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt are positive and negative saturation voltages of an op-amp and we have a diode and a capacitor okay VC that is voltage across this capacitor will be VC and we are uh, tapping in the output here so everything is same here from here, here everything okay so let's see the case okay so let's begin with the case one where V in is greater than VC that is capacitor will have certain voltage say so say if our input voltage is greater than capacitor voltage so if V in is greater than VC it means the voltage at non-inverting terminal is greater than voltage at inverting terminal so since this op-amp is an open loop open loop configuration in the initial stage it will give the output as plus 12 okay so the positive saturation voltage will come here so this will make the diode on so at that time so this will be forward biased so this will conduct the current so at that time one new circuit looks like this so this is nothing but the voltage follower circuit okay so if uh, V in is 6 volts at uh, this point the output also will be 6 volt okay so the capacitor will get charged to the maximum value of input so VC is equal to V in okay so this is the case now say for some reason v in becomes less than vc that is v n v in will become say 5 volts at that time so this is this is 6 volts so 6 volts is greater than 5 volts so again this op amp will give us minus 12 voltage that is negative saturation voltage because op, uh, op amp is again in this uh, acts as open loop configuration so it is in that open loop configuration so it will give us minus 12 volts so it means it will make the diode off that is this path is now absent okay so it is absent now now we are left with only this path when V in is less than VC okay we have a capacitor so there is no way here so only this way is left so it means it still retains the maximum previous input that is 6 volts so VC will be previous uh, let me write it again previous maximum input will be retained now again if V in is greater than VC that is say 7 volts now 7 is greater than 6 now again 12 volt so this will get powered biased now again this configuration will look like voltage follower so this output will follow the new input 7 volt so the capacitor also will charge to new input which is equal to 7 volts okay so earlier vc was 6 volts and even uh, so when v in is equal to let's make a table when v in was 6 volts initial vc is equal to 6 volt which is output when v in became 5 volt our output was still, still 6 volt 
now when we again became seven volts our output became seven volts so if you see this trend if v in becomes less the output will be still the previous maximum however if v in is greater than the previous inputs the output will take up the latest value of input so it will follow the peak value of input so the output will follow the peak value of input hence the name peak detector so this is highly precise since we are using op amp so uh, you can also call it as uh, peak detector precision peak detector or peak detector using op amp whatever uh, is the terminology okay so thanks for watching the video guys if you liked please comment share and subscribe and also let us know if you want any particular videos uh, um, and you can leave in the comment section okay so which video you would like to see etc so thank you